from meteorologist Savannah Brito. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back and happy Friday. It is a mild start. Our temperatures actually are in the lower to mid 60s all across the state line. Definitely a warmer start compared to the last several mornings. 63 is the current temperature. If you're waking up with us in Freeport, 66 in Rockford, 63 in Rochelle, 65 in Sterling. One of our cooler temperatures in southern Wisconsin. Monroe's at 61 degrees this morning. Not a whole lot to see on the radar or our sky track camera. You can kind of see a few raindrops falling from the sky. Also, our winds stationary right now, but we are going to see them pick up. So wind gusts are actually going to be roughly between about 15 and 20 miles per hour later today. So it is busy on the radar, not super heavy showers, but they are pretty widespread. Kind of seeing some of those break up though around the Rockford area, but it is wet in Rochelle if you're waking up there. Janesville areas in Monroe, Rockford also seeing some showers at this point in time. Later in the afternoon, we are going to see them break up, so it will be isolated to scattered, more so isolated to scattered in nature compared to what we're seeing right now, so it's not going to be a washout by any means today. Then we'll dry up for some this evening. There might be a few isolated thunderstorms as well. Those would be non-severe here. That's a different story west of the state line, though. Few showers are possible then with a couple isolated thunderstorms tomorrow. Likely, though, once we get into Mother's Day, it will be a wet start, potentially into the early afternoon, and then we should start to see things dry up. So if you are planning on grilling, it will be cool out there for Mother's Day, at least in the evening. Overall, temperatures probably not even going to make it to 60 in some locations, some areas, maybe the lower 60s. There is a slight risk for Whiteside County, the other surrounding areas, just mainly south and also west of Freeport, a marginal risk. So that's kind of where the better chances of severe weather are. Overall, kind of the slight risk, that's a two out of five. Better, better chances are kind of just directly west and southwest of here, at least for tomorrow. 74, that's your temperature high today showers, isolated thunderstorms. Again, the winds are going to be a little bit more of a factor today than the last couple of days. 57 tonight. It will be another mild night. Cloudy, patchy fog could form though after midnight as our winds calm down. Humidity levels are expected to come up. But just want to give my mom also a shout out for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day weekend. Here's some pictures of us. We went on a little trip over the summer in August up to Sturgeon Bay. Temperatures though, unfortunately, are not going to be that nice out there. But David and I, Whitney and I, were all saying it could always be worse. At least there's no snow in the forecast. Temperatures, like I just mentioned, though, might not even make it up to 60. There's a good chance some locations will only be in the upper 50s out there on Sunday. After that, though, there's good news. Clearing takes place, so maybe celebrate Mother's Day on Saturday or later in the work week as sunshine does return. 70s, the lower to mid 70s, the majority of the week towards the end on Thursday, though temperatures could even warm potentially into the upper 70s. So David, there is going to be a little bit more of a wet forecast to start Mother's Day. Should start to see things dry up later in the day though. All right.